Hello and welcome back to Caves of Good. Now, uh, I did say I wasn't going to keep me buying jewels, but something interesting has happened. We found, I found myself a Yesher skin slippers. I'm really not sure where we get these. And these are jewel encrusted, so I'm wondering if it wouldn't actually be worth buying them. Um, and we of course have a bunch of jewels and trade goods worth, worth buying. But um, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of tempted. Like, we probably can get them way easier and way cheaper, but it's not like I'm in lack of money. I'm not even carrying the bulk of my trade goods. Uh, this is just like what I happen to have on my person. So it's, you know, a little bit absurd. Um, do not want to trade trade goods for trade goods. That would be kind of dumb. So I am going to trade this crystal halberd. Let's see if we can't make the difference somehow. Uh, willowy beaded bracelet? Sure. 48 drams. Trade complete. Oh, that means we have a lot of money, uh, water on us. Um, we're just going to have to deal with that. So we have one of those. We're going to try and find out where that Betel quest is that um, asks or demands three resonance grenades for enhanced prowess near Bethesda Susa. Okay, so I think it's in Bethesda Susa. You know what we could do is we could kill a couple of birds with one stone here and uh, maybe make some friends with some trolls. Because that's been pending for a long time. Oh, ruins? Sure. Let's check out some ruins real quick. We still, I'm pretty sure we are, uh, we need a historic site in the salt, um, desert. We haven't, we haven't found the, the salt desert historic site. And I'm pretty sure there is one in, like, every single biome. You're lost. Not great to get lost in the flower fields. Not that it matters too much, but, oh, a vast animus, huh? Okay, they're dead. Hello, slug snout. Goodbye, slug snout. That looks, it looks to me like there is a, uh, oh no, I thought maybe there was a uh, weep over there. The diathermo beam can sometimes be very extra. <laughs> Just like fires off a beam, like to the moon. All right, so this has been kind of a long time coming. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, my worry, like, I don't want to save scum necessarily. I know I have technically, but I don't want to, like, oh, I didn't get the desired, you know, outcome. Therefore, I'm going to go die. I guess I could. I mean, I have lava, and there, <laughs> there is a achievement for um, drinking lava. There's various dying achievement so i wonder maybe uh every time i i get an undesired outcome i could try and get a death achievement could be kind of fun so i don't know but anyway we're gonna what we're gonna do is i'm gonna unequip all of my other weapons because i don't want to accidentally kill them because i remember i have an, a chance of attacking with all of my extra weapons here um, wow, I've been using this thing for how long and the nuclear cell is still fresh? Like, it's not even even a little bit discharged. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and equip a love injector. And we're gonna hope. It's a, this is a little bit tricky because, um, yeah, first of all, the trolls are, are pretty tough. It's like by the Mapango. And also, this it's kind of like RNG can be very nasty to us and make it so that we're unable to make friends with them just based on the, the reputation that we're going to gain. Your thirst is mine. Reputation with trolls increased. We have no secrets to share with them, unfortunately. They can uh, award an additional 100 reputation. Do they have anything cool? They have the bronze key. We don't really need that. We'll take it anyway. It's worth something. The the rest of the trolls... Oh, they're... 
Oh, okay, it says that they're not angry with us, but they are in fact... Oh, let's, uh, I'm gonna tell them, tell this guy to stay here. Direct to stay here. And, uh, we have another love injector to equip. Would be a good idea to, like, once we have, um, successfully make friends with the trolls, or at least one troll, to, like, leave and then save our desired outcome but you know i'm not i'm not known for my good and wise choices am i okay so we're hoping for uh a desired outcome there they we we have hit them with the love injector what kind of uh, rep are we gonna get here oh disliked by frogs i really need frog rep that sucks. Oh well. Alright. This is worth it. Doesn't seem to understand you. That's because uh, I stunned them, I think. Remain stunned. Are they still stunned? Okay, we're good. Um, trolls are now indifferent to you. Yeah, our, our reputation with frogs is now negative 150, or it's 130. We might be on good enough terms with the Mechanimus to uh, get the Slinth to move in. Really wish I could, um, I had any secrets for them at all. They, they really like, um, like really specifically important uh, secrets though. Oh, and we have to tell this guy to stay here. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to meet the last troll because they're going to be kind of tricky since they're... Oh, I need that key. Need that key. Thank you. Uh, they're they're going to be tricky since they're invisible. Um, and I also, like, trolls are indifferent with me right now, but I don't think that that's actually good enough to, like, share a dram with the last one. So, I, I don't know. Um, so we're just, we're gonna go down and we're gonna hope that I can find that Betel. I think it is in Bethesda Susa. Let's talk to each one. Fitted with cleats. It's not this one for sure. I'm gonna use the mouse to be very lazy about this. Three spring-loaded items. That's a pretty doable one, but I need to obviously get the mod. Um, is there any... Doesn't look like there's any Betel here. Ah. There it is. Notes. A Betel demanding three resonance grenades. They're over here. Okay. So, we're gonna make three of those. A one, a two, a three, and drop all of those. We made an airfoil one, that's nice. All right. Gives you three attribute points. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is really nice. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Betel. Super nice of you. That is uh, really cool. Three attribute points, huh? We could actually potentially get to intelligent, high enough intelligence to, uh, you know, consider tinkering three. But like, is it worth it? I, I kinda, maybe. Like, the only, the thing about Ego is we're going to be getting Ego naturally. We don't really have to waste points on Ego. And Strength, I'm going to be getting Strength from du Double Muscled, right? This is giving us pl plus five Strength already. So I think it is actually worth throwing all of that on Intelligence. We might also, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, we should actually throw some points onto uh, Willpower. Hmm. 
it would actually be really good for us. Um, it would make making friends with people not just easier but cheaper as well because we could use beguiling. I'm pretty sure beguiling is willpower based. I could be wrong about that. We'd also get have some more mental armor, which is going to be a, a thing later. So, like, intelligence 29 would be really good, but I actually think we should throw the points on the willpower. I think it, it's, like, something I, I really have sh should have been, like, considering for the longest time now. So, apparently we had reputation with the Bela. Oh, no, those are pariahs. Droid and delegate for the villagers of Bamu. So these are our three friends. All right, we're, friend we're ready to m begin negotiations. Um, invoking the Kashpiel, I believe, is an achievement, but I think I might already have it. I'm going to double check here because I don't want to invoke the Chaos Spiel uh, without, you know, considering that. Let me see here. Chaos. Yeah, I do, in fact, have invokes the Chaos Spiel. So, not not really worth doing. Um, neg negative 800 with a betrayed faction, 200 reputation with the spared faction, plus a faction heirloom. Possibly worth it. Um, I think there is an achievement for becoming loved by the highly entropic beings. Let me just double check this. Sorry, I know this is uh, probably not a not fun way to consider this. But let me just he see here. Oh, I actually... Um, disappoint a hog... Uh, that's, okay, so you get... you. Um, there's an achievement to disappoint highly entropic beings by using precognition to revert equipping the amaranthine prism. Good luck parsing that one out. If you understand any of that, then, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I think I want to gain plus 200 reputation with a spared faction. Uh, and I think I'm going to betray the villagers of Bamu. I care the least about them. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, well, our, our selection here kind of sucks, if I'm being honest. I could get um, plus 200 with Mechanimus, but they're the easiest uh, faction to gain reputation with. Plus 200 with Barathermites would be nice, but also they're pretty easy. So I think I'll just gain 200. I don't think I like this. I think I'd prefer to lose reputation with Pariahs, if I'm being honest, and then gain it with... Uh, I think... Oh, I guess I don't have a choice now. Because I was thinking if I could get... Um, enough reputation with the villages of Bamu, then I could ask them to, to include the slinth. Um, well, I think the Barathermites actually share good secrets, like the trolls. So we're up to 625 with Barathermites, and we got the Inquisitive Hood of Bronze Datara. And then, uh, villages of Bamu hate, hate us now. That's fine. They're just a random village. They don't they don't matter too much. Um, I might go and, and try and get some secrets from the Barathermites. I think they do give you like some really decent secrets about some stuff. So what is this? The Inquisitive Hood of Bronze Tatara. Pretty good AV. Plus one agility. And that's it. <laughs> that's all it is. It's full it's full right. Um uh, that's a big old meth for, meh for me, dog. Plus 55 reputation with the kith of the gleaming specter of the tinker's theocracy of Ur. Mm, meh, yeah. Just kind of meh. I'm good. Okay, so what's what's the deal now? I think I'm, I, I have to go back to Gritgate. What kind of rep do you have? Loved by the consortium. Disliked by shelled reptiles. Shoot. Oh well. Um, let's go back to Gritgate and get some secrets. I know that uh, quite a lot of the bears here that you can share secrets with um, had not great reputation that I didn't really want to uh, consider. What, what is this guy? What is 
Otho have. Yeah, disliked by robots and goat folk. Like, really, really difficult to... It's just dislike, so it's only negative 50. I guess it's okay. Gets us more rep. I have a secret to share with you. I have another secret to share with you. They could teach me to mod co-processor. I don't think I, I know that one. Like, I don't know what that does. Probably gives you power on the local lattice, whatever that means. So we might have enough points now to consider the... Oh, let's do the spindle. The spindle is ours. Oh, but now we're going to get attacked. Pretty sure we're going to get attacked by... Uh... Yeah, I shouldn't have handed that in. Um, but let's I be straightforward. Consider the slinth. Consider a confirmed grit gate as a sanctuary option. I'm not sure you know the nor enormity of what you ask me. I cannot deny that you have done what you've done. Okay. Now a sanctuary for the slinth. So that's one of three. <laughs> About the slinth. Has the slinth situation been settled yet? They are not ready to choose yet. Okay. Um, so share a secret with me. We'll, we'll, we'll consider that later. Let's, uh, let's share drams with everyone else. Oh yeah. Okay. First let's get attacked. Okay. Um, this is what I'm going to do. First of all, we're going to put the mirror shades on. I don't need a lot of AV for the, uh, I can't put Pew Pewdus Templar. So we're going to put the mirror shades on and I'm going to go ahead and um, tinker up quite a lot of flashbangs. They're really good for this situation. This is using up a lot of time, unfortunately, but I think I have some. Uh, what are you thinking? Receive a chrome thing. So now we can go and uh, talk to... What's her name? Scan Arish Kagal. Intruders detected. Um, so now we can play with this. I have, oh, I see, I see where they're coming from. Um, so let's go ahead and activate this. And activate this. As I recall, it's really, really not worth activating any of the chromelings because they can actually do harm to the, uh, Barathermites. I think the turrets are okay, though. They're, they're not bad. They're not, like, terrible. I could be wrong about the turrets as well, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's, uh, talk to Otho again. What can I do? I'll do my best. Alright, so now I'm just gonna spend a bit more time making some more flash grenades. And then uh, I want to make sure those are equipped. 30. 30 should be enough. Oh, and also, we should probably have some weapons equipped as well. Th that, would, that seems like a good idea, right? Crystal Mace, and then our Radiant Shank. And we should be good to go. Corroded Vision. Corrected Vision. What does corrected vision do for us? Is that... Can see things at normal distances. <laughs> oh, we are at... Uh, we are famished. We should really do something about that. Uh, we're not inspired, so there's not really much point in making a super meal. We could, but... Eh. So what is this? Stun gas. Well, that's no good. Ow. Sometimes this is way rougher than it should be. Also, the worst part here is I have that stupid gun that shoots both ways and my temporal clones are not going to be careful about this at all. Ouchies. This is 
um, like incredible. <laughs> Okay, um, I just picked up an enormous amount of stuff. I'm hoping none of the bears got killed. But, you know, there's a very good chance they did. I'm gonna unlock. Just, like, throw some grenades over here. You finished the step. Wow, that was quick. Temporal Fugue really does quite a lot. Uh, I think I lost no one. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick explore to pick up some stuff. Um, weird artifact. Alright, let's, let's, uh, Oh my god. Blood, stained acid gas grenade. Normality gas grenade. Ontological anchor. We're just gonna go ahead and I'm I'm pretty sure I don't know two dimensional allowing it to snap onto the ley lines of the little Not sure what this does. Kinda uh, just I kinda just wanna disassemble it. Metal bracelet. Slender ontological anchor. Strange tubes, grenade launcher. Treat these as scrap and go ahead and disassemble all. Nice chunk of bits we just got there. Freeze grenade mark three, very good. Love me a freeze grenade. High fidelity matter recompositor. That's an implant. Biodynet, we're gonna get a lot of cybernetics here. Those are just gonna be pure trade goods. Sta stasis grenade, those are great. Those are basically like one, some of the ultimate grenades right there. Fungicide. Thermal Mark Three, those are great. Love them. Uh, we're we're good to continue doing a little run around and picking up all the goods, including apparently we're just gonna rob the Great Gate of all of its tonics. They don't mind, so it's fine. We're on good terms, me and Great Gate. It's like uh, you know, a friend of yours takes you to like. Uh, a, a friend, their friend's bar or restaurant's like, don't worry, they know me here. And then they just like order a bunch of food and drinks. And it's like, uh, I don't know, kind of uncomfortable with the idea. Like, no, we'll, we'll, we'll eat for free. Uh, sure, seems kind of not cool. Caring too much, caring too much. All right, more artifacts to uh, examine. Laser rifle. Well, we can treat these as scrap and disassemble. Gaslight Chris. Those are nice, but we're gonna go ahead and treat these as scrap and disassemble. And continue exploring. I apparently did not pick up the cybernetics from Great Gate itself. Uh, this full right hand bones are going to put me overweight, unfortunately. Notice I picked them up anyway. Let's go ahead and disassemble fungicide grenades. Um, we'll disassemble all of our high explosive grenades. Just for now. We'll, we'll, we can make them again later. We just learned of a historic site. Amazing. Apparently I did not do an actual exploratory of Great Gate. Okay, now let's go check out Otho. Um, live and drink. They just told me how much we lost and I, I didn't pay attention, my bad. I don't think it was much. I think a few things got damaged, but overall, we, we really didn't lose all that much. Okay, we're gonna talk to Barathrum. I don't think we lost a single bear. Actually, they're not bears, are they? They're hedgehogs. Hey, Barathrum. 
Um, I just woke you up. Sorry about that. Hated by the Pewdest Templar. Admired by Dromad merchants and villagers. So we definitely want to share a dram with Baratham. Have a secret for you. I have another secret for you. They could teach me normality gas pumps. I'd like to have them teach me some things, actually. Shares the location of Minekesh. Uh, location of Amur. Bismuth Village Shamur. It's a ruin. Okay. We're, we're good. So let's uh, say you wished to speak to me. What is the spindle? What now? Who is Pax Clang? Accept the quest. Pax Clang. Such a good quest. Love, love the Rainbow Wood. <laughs> um, Rainbow Wood's not too bad. And we have a, another quest there. An achievement of sorts. To uh, kill a Deca Slime. It's going to be, it's going to be tough. I don't expect to win, to be honest. Our best, best bear, Spare Fusile, has survived who has many great things for us, including electromagnetically shielded. Can't remember what this does. Immune to electromagnetic pulses. I think that means that it's, um, it can't get EMP'd, which is actually really nice, but uh, I don't know if it's necessarily like very important. Sturdy is fine. We'll, we'll grab these um, purely for Betel reasons. I'm not going to sell the ontological anchors. I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Yeah, we're, we're, I want to buy the data disks purely to... Um, in case we get uh, any, any Betel quests that require that of us. And we're gonna go ahead and disassemble all this stuff. I can't believe how lucky we got. I mean, to be fair, uh, I think I did a pretty okay job. You know, maybe I set the right turrets on. I, we have Temporal Fugue. Temporal Fugue is gonna make uh, the invasion a lot easier. But you know, like that still, in, with all of that, we, we got insanely lucky. Okay, um, uh, where are we at? We are just about at the end of this episode. I don't know if there's much else to do here. We are running into weight problems again, so I might just go ahead and dump. Open. Oh, uh, no. Uh, there we go. Uh... Can't remember what bounding boots do, and or even like how I got them. Uh, put the full right hand bones in there, and this. I'm basically just gonna keep our like zero weight stuff. I have a lot of stuff, don't I? Just a like an absolutely absurd amount of stuff. I don't need a lot of like all of this stuff, for sure. I do not. Oh my god. Like, I am I was already storing all of our gemstones in there, and I got a ton more gemstones since the last time I visited this place. If you play on, like, roleplay mode in CUD and play conservatively, you can just get a ridiculous amount of money. I don't... I think we're at the point where I would never worry about money again. Oh no, did I lose my Rondur? Where's my Rondur? My sil- Oh, does it technically count as a uh, trade good? It does. Weird. Okay. I want my Rondur back. Alrighty. Um, and I don't want this fungus I grenade. What? I don't know why that's there. Um, alright. So, um, what are we doing next? I guess I might check in on this next historic site. I, let's go ahead and get that going, and then I'll, I'll leave this episode um, at the location of the new historic site, because I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. We don't have a lot of historic sites that we can actually visit safely. Not that it matters, but 
Um, all right, and we're going to go to, I think it's F11. And they had it set to, yes, historic sites, unvisited on only. And I think this one is in the mountains. Mountains, Gandalf. All right. Mountain historic site is kind of a pain in the butt, but, you know, we'll, we'll do it. Um, let's go to Ezra. I have to assume the jacked mod just doesn't work for recoilers right now, but uh, I don't think that's as intended. Going to real quick check to see if there's anything good. Crystal Longsword. We actually have a fatal quest for Crystal Longswords. Oh yeah, and uh, Ezra recoilers. Six Crystal Longswords. That's gotta, I, I think I said this the first time, but that's gotta be the most expensive Fatal quest, but by God, I am doing it, aren't I? <laughs> um, let's sell these bounding boots. I don't, I don't think they're something I'm gonna make, want to make use of. Then I'll sell some of this other stuff. There, perfect. Okay, and I also want to. Um, the disassemble these ontological anchors. I'm sure they're useful. I just don't know how. And you no, know I'll, I'll keep the slender ontological anchor since it is like lighter, of course. Do you have anything cool? You've got another Ezra recoiler. I'm going to want to buy that. Um, Eigen rifle, radio power. Don't really need those. I guess I could buy a radio power just in case it comes up as a battle quest as as per usual, and uh, could just trade money for this. Let's trade some money and like, s sure, this, you know, some honey. And that way I'm down to 78 trams. That's actually kind of perfect. And now we'll make our way over to the historic site. And unfortunately, yeah, I can't go in there. So I'm gonna have to, go to this jungle. Jungles can be pretty rough. Just a little bit rough. Just just a little bit weird and rough. Um, and then we're gonna walk over and I'm gonna equip my pickaxe. And I swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. You love to hear it. You love to hear it because you know what I really could use is a, oh, we found it. I was gonna say we could use uh, a, a nice skulk recipe that gives us um, burrowing claws. That would be just ideal. But we're not gonna need that because um, this was like the easiest mountain historic site I think I've ever seen. This is gonna be a really annoying historic site because we are fighting tons of gibbons. And, and al uh, albino apes. The only problem with fighting albino apes is that we're going to be automatically butchering them. I almost want to turn auto butcher off just so that we don't auto butcher them into like trade goods that we then automatically pick up. Like all of that is it's just a pain. Not sure, like, outside of, like I say, Zeta Chrome, I'm not sure how we can really improve this run. Because things are, are going pretty well. I just don't know how and when we're going to be well equipped for, say, Deep Jungle or the Baroque uh, Ruins. Because those are just a massive pain. Basically, keeping my uh, finger over the attack like melee attack uh, closest enemy and auto explore because we're in a position where like nothing can really hurt us. I don't think that I um, really take any damage anymore or gain any XP. So this is like why I say um, hoarding books is actually a really good idea. Okay, cool. Um, so that's going to do it for this episode, and in the next episode we're going to explore this historic site, maybe get something 
fun from the bottom of it. Who knows? Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.